Name's Ian. Um, I've failed my standards check on the 31st of January and the 26th of October, <clears throat> getting the same sort of scores. Um, <clears throat> I had somebody sit in the back um, as a while ago, um, and there were things that um, I was doing really well, like um, she said that um, I liked the brief that I did, um, I was calm and open, asked some great questions, explored the dual carriageways. Um, with this particular customer. Um, so I just want to say um, a thank you to my friend Matthew Jones um, from Naresborough. He um, he was helping me this morning. Um, so I was up, that was a bit down about. So um, I do want to sort of give him a mention. Um, and then that's that sort of made me sort of happy enough to do this. So um, yeah, um, friends can be important when they. Um, especially when they help you when, when things are not going that well. So, um, so the, the lady that sat in the back of the um, video she said that I uh, sort of thought back of the car. She said I like the brief that you did. You were calm and open, asked some great questions, explored dual carriageways with the customer before going to do them. So I asked questions about the dual carriageways. Um, I had a chat about the differences between different mirrors on the car, which. Um, um, and then I went to chat about whether to use the lights because it, you know, the weather. Um, the, the, we've got to match our, our driving to the road and traffic conditions. So um, I had to sort of talk about that. So that she was pleased with that. Um, so maybe I should have talked about the headlights a little bit more um, and when, when to use them so that they knew. Um, so I, I talked about. Um, lorries on the dual carriageway and how and when to move back in so the idea is that if you get both headlamps in that mirror there you signal to the left when they're both in this mirror here then we move into the left and um it, you know um she liked the fact that there was a red light and i talked about things as we're at the red light um so I gave the customer praise for um, certain parts of his driving um, and it's really important to be specific on what those praises are so um, you know checking left and right or, or, or whatever they've done you've got to be specific so you can't say that was good you've got to say I like the way you pulled back in there or I like the way you got up to speed um, she said I gave the customer reasonably early directions so it's, it's always important to give directions really early so that they can get ready. Um, so, as approaching the end of the lesson, the customer didn't move out, um, on around that, didn't move out, move out early enough. So, I gave them the advice to go around the roundabout again, um, which is a lot safer. Um, she liked the overall manner I had with this customer. Um, so, I come across as calm and confident and then um, ask some good questions to confirm his knowledge and understanding, so that's what I did well. And I th things, that was things that she loved. Things to improve. Um, so in, in, the, in, our, in the debrief, um, he, he had an issue with approaching roundabouts. Um, his, his general approach speed and stopping at every roundabout junction, despite his roundabouts being clear and um, he had the opportunity to um, proceed, so he was, he was kind of slowing down and stopping. I should have, um, because his approach speed was higher, he had to brake quite harshly, um, suddenly to stop at the roundabout. Um, so this caused vehicles behind to be taken by surprise and also having to brake harshly. So, and it was putting us in a dangerous situation. Um, so, I should have. Um, focused on that so uh, the approach speed to roundabouts we need to go slower so that we've got time to process things so um, because I was concentrating so much on dual carriageways I think I might have neglected that a little bit so I need to work on improving that um, so this is something that um, as we approach junctions it's making sure that we can um, that we're, we're, we're giving ourselves plenty of time to do that so that's what um, uh, things I need to improve on um, <clears throat> And then the, the, I should I should always always be a bit more proactive. Um, so I should be proactive. So if we're approaching a roundabout too fast, I need to sort of say that we need to get the speed down now so that we can um, deal with that roundabout. Um,
So um, turning left at a junction with the car behind, and we need to sort of, he didn't put a signal on, so I should have said, you know, we need to have a signal, we need to let the car behind know what's happening, rather than retrospectively, which is what I said, um, after we did that, I said, next time let the car behind know what we did, where, where, we, where we're going. So um, that, that's, that's not good enough, I should have done it before. So um, that's, that's what I need to sort out. Um, So we need to um, things like um, when people change a gear too early, we need to sort of say no, we'll, um, don't let it happen. I need to sort of say um, just just hold off going down the gears, just go a bit slower, and then we'll go down the gear, and then we'll go. So in that way, I can't be retrospective. I need to sort of jump in and and do that. Um, So um, the, the, what she said was that the, we discuss it's, it's that it, how it is okay to step in early if you need to, because I struggle with this because I kind of I want people to um, be able to show that they can do it well, um, and then afterwards I sort of tell them what I did wrong. But sometimes if if, if things are, uh, I need to work out when it's needed. So if they if they if they needed to slow down, um, then I need to to, to get, get that sorted. So. Um, he, this this customer needed more guidance and support, um, and I should have discussed the need to set your roles and responsibilities between me and the customer, so so that people knows what to expect of you, me, the, the instructor, and and you know what to expect of the pupil. Um, so I say it's a job share. I've got the dual controls. Um, do you want me to? How much support do you want me to give you on this this um, on, on approaching junctions? Do you want me to give you full support or, or part support or, or what? We we be able to do you want me to do the observations for you so that I I make it clear how much support I'm going to give him. Um, so she gave me some things to practice. So set your roles and responsibilities and level of instruction at the beginning of the lesson. So um, I need to just check that um, I'm, I'm, what my role is and what what my customer's role is. Um, so we're going to talk about dual carriageways, have a discussion with the pupil and ask them what they feel confident doing. So do you feel confident knowing when to go? Do you want me to help you to know when to, to enter the, the, the dual carriageway? Um, they might need my help about when to emerge on the dual carriageway. So the customer will be responsible for the speed and gears, but I'm responsible for supporting the pupil to find a, a safe gap to merge into the carriageway. And how, um, the, you go one step forward, further and say, how does your people want you to support them whilst emerging? Would would you like to talk them through it, or would it look like some simple prompts? So, would they, if they want help in entering the dual carriageway, um, do do they want simple prompts, or do they want me to tell you everything? So I need to clarify that more with the customer. Um, so once um, I'm more confident with setting up the roles and responsibilities and agreeing level of instruction at the beginning of the lesson, start practicing changing or reviewing the responsibilities and level of instruction during the lesson. So again, we've got to pull over and say, okay, so I've, I've given you help here. Do you still want me to give you that, that same help or do you want me to back off? So I need to do that. Um, so let's say, for example, um, you started lesson and joined two, three carriages now. Um, then I'd have a conversation with the pupil and ask how are they finding them and whether they want to be responsible for finding a safe gap next time we merge onto dual carriageway. So I'm breaking it down. Um, your pupil may agree or they may ask you to support them for another one or two times whilst they build their confidence up. And that's okay. It's about reviewing and agreeing who's going to be responsible for what, even just confirming that responsibilities will remain the same. So that's what um, that's what I was I needed to do to, be, to get it right. Um, so, and she also the, the trainer also said, we um, need to practice identifying faults before they happen. So don't allow them to become serious. So um, you're allowed to step in earlier. So I've got to try and be a bit more proactive and get that a bit earlier. So if you notice, if I notice a customer approaching around about too fast, try and verbally intervene the first time or use physical dual control pedals if needed. Now, um, that's obviously the last case resort. Last, last resort because we need to sort of talk to people the the talking is is the main dual control so um so if, if your people approach around about too fast you get a sense that they aren't going to slow down in good time um so i might just say to them 
off gas and start braking. So um, we come off the gas and start braking. Um, so if you see any hazards or issues up ahead, let's talk about the hazards with the pupil. Support your pupil if they need support. So we're trying to see any hazards up ahead and, and, and dealing with that. Um, so this is what I've, I've done with my trainer. Um, I'm going to let her know that I've put this on so that she, she knows. Um, and um, th this will, will help me to sort of get get a better score next time. So um, I've scored exactly the same score, um, 27 out of 51 on both the um, 26th of October and the 31st of January. And I got seven for risk management on both of them. And the, 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 the pattern's virtually the same. It's, it's very, very slightly different. Um, so I've got my final um, on the final um, standards check on the 15th of May. If I fail that, I get struck off. Uh, if I pass that, I'll stay on. Um, I'm, going, I'm just trying to get an, an, another job lined up, if that's the case, um, with the ambulance service where I used to work. So um, that's what I'm looking at. Um, so just, again, I just want to say thank you to Matthew Jones from Nairsborough. Um, he really helped me this morning. And... Um, Friends are important, you know. If you if you if you're going through difficult times, then um, I just want to sort of say thank you to him. Um, I'm just going to upload that and um, and um, any any comments, please put that in the in the comments um, below. Because I, I if you can if that helps you at all with your standards check, or if you can help me at all with any advice, I'd appreciate it. Thank you.